Right, just thought I'd show you something today. The lawn looks really nice, but we have this. Not red thread, this is brown patch. Looks very similar to red thread. And the difference is, is that if it was red thread, the whole area would be pink, whereas it's still got green growing out of it a little bit. So that's how we differentiate at first glance. But if you go deeper, you can see that there's none of the red sclerotia that we talked about in the last video. And the good news is we don't have to treat this because it'll come and it'll go just the same without causing any damage whatsoever. If you want to feed it or whatever, go ahead. But it'll just um, it'll just wear off anyway. This is almost done with because I had it last week. It was just absolutely tucking down. And how does it get here? Warm, humid conditions, which are perfect at the moment. A lot of stadiums in the country are getting it. I know the Twickenham guy, he's had it on his new pitch. So if he is susceptible to it, I mean, he's probably more susceptible to it because he's got an enclosed environment. So I think it's very hot, very humid in there. It's perfect. But equally, we're like that. We've got the house, we've got borders, we've got summer. So this is almost like, it doesn't get any wind blowing through it sometimes if the wind's blowing a certain way. So that's how we get it. But on the whole, I think it's looking quite nice. A lot of water's fallen, so there is a bit of leaf spot in there and stuff, but there's nothing we can do about that. So what do you think? Are you happy? Not done much to it over the last few weeks, just been letting it do its thing since we did our renovation. Sometimes less is more. Another patch there. And again, it's got the green growing through and just the brown sporadic growth, which determines that brown patch. Now, if it were Anthracnose, Anthracnose even, it would be more jaggedy. So we know it's brown patch that it is actually circular. But other than that, we're in good condition. In a few weeks, I'll be properly scarifying this and doing our autumn renovation. So make sure you tune, uh, stay tuned for that one. But so far, this is the best it's ever looked consistently over the whole year. And this is thanks to you guys, because you're watching the videos, which is giving me uh, extra incentive to keep it looking good. You know, because I wouldn't want to do a video of it looking rubbish. Let's just stand in my favorite position. And uh, you'll see it looks pretty good. I say for not having much done to it in the last few weeks. Since I last saw you, I've actually done nothing to it at all. I don't need to spray a fungicide for that brown patch. You can do if you want to. Will it help it go quicker? Uh, but it will go and it won't leave any damage whatsoever. You know, if you've got a local, if you do employ like a green thumb or whatever service, lawn treatment service, maybe they have, have a fungicide in the van and you could ask them to spray it because they can spray it legally for you. And, uh, you know, save you the cost of having to outlay a full bottle if you was uh, uh, qualified to spray it. So on the whole, I'm very impressed. And uh, I'll just show you a little sneak peek of my next job that we've got to do, another one. I think I saw you a few weeks ago and told you we were doing it. But now with the new paths in, a nice wooden edge has gone in. I haven't done that. That's the tilers who've done that, saved me a job and they've done a good job as well. Um, so this will be filled with the root zone and then we're going to seed this one. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to do something different and it's something I wanted to do at Steve's job, but I just didn't have the depth because this gets really bad with worms. Absolutely devastation in this area and this lawn as well gets really, really bad. So I'm going to use the leftover sheets that I've got from the germination sheets. I'm going to lay those down on the floor and then soil on top of it and um, that will hopefully stop the worms coming through. Yeah, it's gonna stop water penetrating through, but a little bit, but we want that here because of these trees, we get a lot of water being sucked out. So I think all in all, it'll be uh, worthwhile doing. And I think it'll solve a lot of problems in the process. Me and Keith are gonna sort this out. The tilers didn't do this bit. So me and Keith have got to sort this out the other, uh, other day, but we need to get an, uh, on Wednesday, but we need to get another one of these. But I can't fit me in my van, so we're gonna have to come up with some kind of plan to get that here. I'm not sure what, but uh, but yeah, for this time of year, August second uh, today, I think, first second, yeah, first second of August, 
I'm really, really pleased. Look at that colour. Look at it. How's your lawns looking? You know, make sure to leave a comment about your lawns. I'll always reply. And uh, like and subscribe. You must subscribe to keep these videos coming. So I'll just leave you in peace for a sec while you enjoy this. Okay, that's all for now. See you soon.